Hi there, Fired Up Jim here, the Fired Up Prepper, and today's video is actually going to be on what I've got in this pot right here. I wonder what could be in there. So as you know, if you've watched a couple of my previous videos or one of my previous videos recently, uh, I've been going through and uh, kind of updating my bug out bag, my my day carry bag, and I'm getting pretty serious about the bug out bag. So uh, I've got some other thoughts on that. This video is not for the bug out bag, but it's something that I added to my bug out bag yesterday. And let me just show you what it is. And actually, believe it or not, I know that's large, right? But that is a part of my bug out bag. That goes in my bug out bag. So what today's video is going to be about is the Daytrex emergency ration bars. Now this particular uh, one is the only one I've ever purchased. I've had it now for probably two, if not three years. Been meaning to do, uh, I've never opened it up. As you can see, it's totally sealed tight. And so I was going through my bug out bag and, or adding things to it. And I ran across this cause I had everything on the table laid out back here and I picked it up and I started reading it and I just thought it was, uh, not funny, but I thought it was interesting that the way they labeled this, uh, so anyway, I'm just going to read off the labels and show them to you. In the beginning, of course, it says tear here. It says Daytrex. It says multi-purpose emergency ration approved by the U.S. Code Guard number 160-046 forward slash 19 forward slash 0 09027 forward slash BV MCA approved. I don't know what MCA is. Other approvals pending. Approximate. 15075 KJ or 3600 K cals. This ration consists of 18 bars of compressed concentrated food. Then it says instructions for emergencies. Lifeboat forward slash life raft at sea. Eat one bar every six hours per person. Eat in small pieces. Chew well. Then below that, it says other emergencies on land, semicolon, eat one bar every four hours per person, eat in small pieces, chew well. Then we come around this side, and I thought this was very, very interesting. Put that up there, see if you can actually read it. So anyway, this is talking about save drinking water. Do not drink water during the first 24 hours unless sick, injured, or in desert conditions. After first 24 hours, drink no more than 500 ml, half a liter, uh, approximately 16 ounces per day. When supply is nearly exhausted, no more than one-tenth liter per day. Never drink seawater, not even if mixed with fresh water. So on this side, it says, this ration to be replaced not later than five years from production date or according to governing administration. So on the back, it has the nutrition information per serving. Serving size is one bar. Serving pack, and there's 18 servings in the packet. Total weight 720 grams, I guess, GM, 25.4 ounces. Calories 838 uh, kJ, 200 calories. Total fat 23%, 9 grams. Protein 7%, 3 gram GM grams. Saturated fat 21%, 2 grams. Carbohydrate 65%, 26 grams. Sugar, 5 grams. Sodium, 0.75 milligrams. Monounsaturated fat, 65%. 
six gram, polyunsaturated fat, 14%, one gram, cholesterol, 0.378 milligrams. Then it says percentage US RDA for adults, protein, 7%, vitamin A, 1%, vitamin C, 1%, thiamine, 8%, riboflavin, 5%, niacin, 4%. Ingredients, wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. That's the ingredients. Produced by Daytrex Incorporated, Kinder, Louisiana, 70648. Telephone, 337-738-4511. Fax, 337-738-5675. The manufactured date is September uh, 2015. And the expiration date is September 20th. September, I'm sorry, 1920, uh, 2020. A little bit easy for me to say. And then it says something down here about something number, oh, lot number 342. And let me see if that's everything. That is everything that's on here. So what we're going to do now, folks, is we're going to open it. And I'm going to try it. I have not tried one. Like I said, this is the only one I've ever bought, purchased. And uh, we're just going to see what it looks like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste it, let you know it's totally sealed up. As far as I know, uh, it's, it's fine. So we're going to go. So I'm about, like, by what it said here, I'm, what, a year away almost. In September, be a year away from supposedly being out of date. Now, look, a lot of things like your canned goods, they have a, a best buy date. Doesn't mean that that's when they expire. As long as they're not damaged and they're being stored properly, stuff will last a lot longer. And there's ways to smell test it and you know taste whatever, look at it, and see that things are still good or not. So that's just, it's a suggestion. It's letting you know, hey, it's basically best if done by then. So let's open this up. Let me see if I can just tear it. Okay, yeah, it'll allow me to just tear it. So it's easy opening. Smells, I can kind of smell that uh, uh, coconut. Smells, that's the biggest sm smell I can get from it. I want to open this up where I really don't. I'd like to keep the package. So it's in little bricks like this. See, there's four bricks. They're all shrink wrapped or whatever. So that's good. It's not open underneath this. This is the outer packaging, which does look like a type of a mylar uh, there. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm just saying, but it looks like a mylar. So uh, I think that the, the way they are done, as long as they're stored properly, they would probably uh, last longer than five years. But, you know, that's not a guarantee, right? So let's open this up. Still, like I said, I smell the coconut is really the only smell I can get. So I, I, I guess that this is considered one bar, one serving. And it was saying if you're on the, a boat in the middle of the ocean, one every six hours. If you're on land, is that right? Am I doing that right? One every, uh, where is it? Da, da, da. Yeah, one every six hours. If on land, one every four hours. Kind of crumbly. All right, let's see. It's got good color. So I would say, is it dry? Yes, but it has a little bit of... It's not totally dry. Uh, it has good taste. Of course, the coconut is the strongest thing that I have. What else did it say that it had in it? Uh, where was that? Sorry. Anyway, 
But that's that's the strongest taste that I get is is the coconut. It's not overwhelming. I would say the texture is like a um, light, fluffy cookie. It's what you have to remember. It's a little heavy. I mean, what did it say? It was like 25 ounces. So it's a, like, what, a pound and a half of weight. So it's definitely going to add some weight to your bag. But it's better to have something to eat than to have nothing and to have to worry about it. This way you're at least getting something in your system, something to give you calories. Uh, definitely not a long-term deal. That's why it's used for emergency situations. But it's at least going to give you something to eat, something to uh, give you calories. So if you're on foot or if you're in the boat, whatever. <clears throat> It tastes good. To me, it's just like a, a snack cookie of some kind. And that's another thing, right? You don't want to have uh, cheers to my cup of joe. <clears throat> that's something I always tell people is that make sure that the food that you're storing... Number one, I try all my 25 yourself like food. I start out, I'll buy one package or one box, whatever. I get it in, I'll try a couple things. If I like it, I'll buy more. If I don't, I don't buy anymore. Uh, if uh, canned food, why would you store things that you don't normally eat, that you don't <coughs> on a normal basis consume, or your family? So think about that. You want to have things that taste good, things that you normally eat, if you can, closest to. Uh, so... I've eaten about half the bar so far. Uh, totally, you can see, it's just got kind of a cookie or energy bar type. It's about a, a three-eighths of an inch thick. I wouldn't say it's a half inch thick. And the bar itself, as you can see, is what, a couple inches, maybe two and a half inches by one and a half inches. So... I would say yes. I mean, what I'm going to do is I open this one. So uh, I'll probably just snack on them over the next week or however long. And I'm going to order some more. I'll probably order a couple of them this time. Uh, one for my day bag and one for my bug out bag. And maybe one to store. So anyway, day treks. Multi-purpose rations. Thumbs up for me. Uh, good flavor. Five-year shelf life, By if you go by the date, I, I'm sure that it may go longer, but you can't quote me on that because I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. But I'd never opened this. That was a fresh open, and uh, I say, yeah, I say they're good. So let me know down in the comments if you've uh, tried the day I know there are several other ones. Let me know if you've tried the day treks or other brands. Uh that you would consider, but I believe that this is, uh, it's a good option, and they're, they're relatively cheap. I don't remember exactly how much they were uh, at all, because like I said, it's been two or three years, so uh, I don't know that they were even $10 for a pack or $15, not even. Uh, it may have been more like 7 8 or $9. i am not sure. I don't remember, but I know it's not that much, so anyway, guys. Have a great day. Today is Sunday, May 12, 2019. Fired Up Prepper Day Treks video. Try and get a thumbnail there, maybe. Ah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Get down below and comment, like the video, and make sure that you subscribe and hit that uh, bell for video updates. We'll see you on the next video. Fired Up.